All right, let's take a look at Unit 4, Lesson 17, Logarithmic Functions. Um, in 17.1, which one doesn't belong? Be prepared to explain your reasoning. So which of these um, does not uh, belong in the group? And there are lots of answers that you could choose. Um, you could say, well, this one is the only one that doesn't have an exponent. Um, you could say that this one is the only one with a base E. Um, you could say that this is the only one that represents decay. because your growth factor is less than one. Um, you could say uh, this one is the only one with an initial value of 7.5. All the rest are four. I'm sorry, 0 0.75. There are lots of lots of answers that you could give for that one. All right, 17.2, how long will it take? A colony of a thousand bacteria doubles in population every hour. Explain why we can write H equals log base two of X to represent the number of hours H it takes for 1,000 bacteria to reach a population of X thousand. So remember, if we are writing our function, um, we know that our initial value is x thousand, so it's 1,000, so our initial value is one. And then we are um, doubling, so that's times two to the x, right? Um, no, not the x, to the h. x is the number of thousand. So x equals one times two to the h right, because h is the time, h is the number of, of hours. And so then if we were to, um, so that's the same thing as x equals 2 to the h, and if we were to write that in logarithmic form, uh, log base 2 of x equals h. So that's the same thing um, that we had in the original problem. All right, so we're going to complete the table with the corresponding values of h. Um, so when we plug in 1, we know we get 2. When we plug in 2, we know we get 4. Oh, wait, we're not plugging in 2. Hold on. So I got those backwards. Um, sorry about that. All right, so um, we're plugging it into the log base 2. So let's go and do log, not lob, log. There we go. And then we're going to do a subscript. Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. It's down here. Uh, log base 2. Ah! Let's go back and do that again. Log base 2. I accidentally hit the square. And then we're going to arrow over, and we are going to plug in 1. And we get 0. 0 hours. Uh, and then if we plug in 2... We get one hour. If we plug in three, we get, oh no, we're plugging in four, sorry. Four, we get two. If we plug in, eight, we get three. If we plug in, 16, we get four. Plug in 50, here's where we start to get our decimals. Um, and we'll write that as 5.64. And then if we plug in 80, we get 6.32. All right, so because um, the first 
five values for x were multiple were um uh, powers of two. Um, we got whole numbers for our hours, but then we started getting numbers that were not um, powers of two, and so we got decimals for our number of hours. So now we're going to plot the pairs of values uh, on the coordinate plane. So our x is, is the x-axis and our hours is the y-axis. So we have one, zero, and that's going to be right here. Uh, two, one, four, two, eight, three, 16, four, so 10, 12, 14, 16, four, and then 50 is 5.64, so that's about halfway in between little closer to this to the six uh, and then 80 is 6.32 so it's a little above the six and so if we can kind of connect that with a curve i'm probably not going to do a great job of this but i will do my best there we go good enough um all right so there is our graph and then we're going to use the graph to estimate the missing values on the table. So 10 is going to be a little bit more than 3. Um, we could say it's maybe like 3.2, 3.3, something like that. Uh, 24, and that's here. Well, let's color code that. So that's going to be somewhere like here. So 3.2-ish. Uh, 24 would be about here. And again, I'm not great at drawing my lines, but that'd be like four point, I don't know, four. Um, and then let's see, 72 would be right about here. So that's gonna be like six point, I don't know, two, something like that. And that's how we can use, um, some graphs to estimate some of our missing values. Uh, we are not going to worry about 17.3. Um, we can put these into the calculator and look at the graphs. Uh, we could have done that for this last one. Um, we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so we had log base 2 of x and let that equal y. And you can see, let's change our units. We'll make them match. So 0 to 80. And then we add 0 to 10. And so you can see there's our graph there. Um, and uh, it, it looks similar. It's a little more stretched out just because of the, the view, um, the scale of our, our graph. Um, but you can see where we can graph that there. All right, let's take a look at 17.3. Um, earlier, we saw that H equals log base 2 of X represents the number of hours for 1,000 bacteria, doubling every hour to reach a population of X in thousands. Suppose the function D defined by D of X equals log base 10 of X represents the number of days it takes for 1,000 of another species of bacteria to reach a population of X in thousands. How is this population of bacteria growing? Um, and so... Remember that we can rewrite it as um, an exponential function. So uh, we have 10 to the power of d of x is equal to x, right? Um, so d of x is equal to the number of days. Um, so for every day, every um, day, it grows by a factor of 10. All right, so we're going to graph D. So we're going to say Y equals log 
And remember, log base 10, you don't actually have to write the base because it's automatically 10. Um, and there is your graph. Um, and so what do you notice about the graph? Well, the shape is similar to the one um, up here. Um, it also, it's, it, it kind of looks like an exponential function just, just turned differently and reflected. Um, that's kind of interesting. Um, it looks like uh, it might go through the point um, 102, maybe. Um, it doesn't start at the origin. Um, what else do you notice? All right, so we're going to use our graph to estimate values for D of 50. And right there, we've got 50, so 1.699. Um, so D of 50 is about 1.699 or 1.7. And then, oh, 20,000. Wow. Let's go all the way. That's going to take a while. All right, let's change this, this window. Um, so let's go from uh, 19,000 to 20,000. There we go. Um, and so now we can take a look at that again. And if we can get, let's zoom in a little bit. be challenging to get that point to show up. All right, well, you know what? Um, that's giving me a challenge. So we're going to actually plug in 20,000 and just see what it says. All right, so 4.301. So D of 20,000 is approximately 4.301. All right, again, uh, we can just plug that 20,000 in um, because it was really hard to, to actually get, oh, there we go, to get that point on that graph. All right, so estimate or find the population after five days. So after five days, and remember that um, the D of X is five. So D of X, oops, is equal to five. So five equals log base 10 of X, right? So that means that 10 to the fifth equals X. So X is 10, I'm sorry, um, one with five zeros. So it's 100,000. Oh, wait, no, because it was represented that, that was in a thousand. So, oh, let's, let's. Do that again. Um, so that's a hundred thousand thousand. So that's actually a hundred thousand thousand. So that is a hundred million. Right? So that would be the population after five days. All right, so then you can take a look at the summary if you want um, to read a little bit more about logarithmic functions.